Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about how kids are different in Germany and how parenting is different in Germany. I feel like these are two different topics, but they sort of like mesh together. And yeah, these are just things that I have observed. I'm not a parent. I don't have kids, so I don't have like personal experience, but I have personal observation experience because I have worked in kindergartens. I've been around a lot of children and a lot of different families and a lot of different parents. So with all that being said, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. The lady that I worked for, she said, hey Haley, I'm going to get coffee with my friend. Would you like to come with? And her friend just had a baby and she showed up with her little stroller with her little baby sleeping in the stroller. And I was like, oh, how cute. No, that's so cute that you're bringing the baby to the cafe to get some coffee and kuchen. And the baby was knocked out, you guys. This baby was in la la land. And the woman, she just leaves <laughs> and goes in the cafe. And I'm just like, Okay, did the lady that I work for literally bring me here to watch someone else's kid? Like, I was like, they really want me to stand out here in the cold, in the winter, next to the stroller while they go inside and drink coffee. I'm like, that's really rude. The lady knocked on the window and was like, come inside. And I was like, and she's looking at me like, what the hell am I pointing at? And I'm like, doing the motion of picking up the baby. And she's like, and I'm like, and she's like, no. And then she comes out and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what are you doing <laughs> leaving your baby on the street? And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Someone could grab this little baby is just laying here, strangers walking past. This is a busy road. Someone get snatch your baby up, snatching, hide your kids, hide your wife, because they're snatching every baby out here in Germany. <laughs> she's like looking at the lady that I worked for, like, you brought this woman with you to this coffee shop and she's talking about my baby getting kidnapped? It happened often. I will not say all the time and that everyone did it, but it wasn't uncommon to see a random stroller with a random baby in it on the side of like the sidewalk or the road somewhere or, you know, in front of a store. And the reasoning behind this, she told me, I mean, this was her reason. I don't know if this is the real reason why people do it, but she said that it took her so long to wrap the baby in all of its like winter clothes. And so when the baby slept, you know, it got fresh air. It was cool to him. Like the temperature outside was cool, but his body temperature underneath everything is relatively warm and he sleeps the best this way. And so it's better to just leave him him there, then take him out, wake him up most likely, take off all his all of his clothes, and then have to re-put them on, redress him when they leave the cafe. And so I thought that was very interesting. This is something that happens all over Europe. I know that a lot of people or some people do this in the United States in their like the privacy of their home. It doesn't necessarily happen in Florida because if you leave your baby outside in Florida, <laughs> it will die. The next point is going to be something that is a hit and a miss. I know that some people like Germans are going to disagree with me, but I've seen this a handful of times here. And it is that people will bring their children to bars. And I think it's because the bar culture in Germany is different and also the alcohol culture is different here as well. And so when I compare it to the United States, where I used to work, I've worked in I think like three or four different restaurants and all of those, I think three out of four of them had bars, meaning you could sit at the bar and drink alcohol, or you could sit in the bar area, which wasn't directly like chairs around a bar, but there were maybe tables or booths surrounding the bar. And some restaurants that I worked at wouldn't even let people with kids sit there. There are some restaurants that I have been to in the United States that allow children to sit there, but the ones that I worked at wasn't allowed unless they were 18 or older. But if you came with your baby and you like wanted to sit at the bar or near the bar, we usually, our hostesses would have to say, sorry, we're not allowed to seat you there. And so when I came to Germany and I just saw kids, you know, openly around alcohol in public at restaurants, at bars, I was shocked, a little judgmental because I'm like, what are y'all doing with your kids? Like we're around alcohol and bringing them to the bar like this. It's totally chill in Germany and relax when it comes to kids and alcohol. Also because the drinking age is 16 here, depending on what you're drinking. And in the United States, it's 21. And I always find this to be so 
crazy when I see little children, literally 16 year olds drinking beer. And I'm like, are y'all allowed to do that? And then in the United States, I get carded if I wanna buy one little um, beer can at the grocery store or something or at the gas station. And I also think that in Germany, they like to expose children at an early age to like the real world. like everyone, not everyone, but a big majority of people are drinking. They may not be alcoholics, but they are consuming alcohol. And you're going to come into contact with this regardless if you do drink alcohol or don't drink alcohol. And I never understand now since living in Germany, the big hush hush regarding alcohol in the United States. It's a little weird in my opinion, because I've talked about this before. You can buy guns at 18, you can go fight in the military, you know, give up your life. But as soon as you wanna buy one little beer and you're 20 years old, go to jail. The next point is going to be eating vegetables, you know, free will, like uh, not being forced, <laughs> y'all. One thing that shocked me, which is a little like going off of this point, when I came to Germany and I started eating food, like not eating foods, when I started going to restaurants and stuff and like just trying out different types of restaurants and getting vegetables that were uncommon, let's say, because you go to the United States, you eat at a restaurant, you're gonna have like a, a vegetable medley of broccoli, squash, carrots, throw in a zucchini, you know, asparagus is big, cauliflower is big, very basic vegetables, you know, throw in a corn on the cob there as well. And some areas, you know, you have more so than other, like in Florida, we have okra, um, but we fry it. And I feel like all of our vegetables, we fry, we deep fry. We have deep fried green beans, we have deep fried cauliflower, we have deep fried corn, we have deep fried everything. So that's not really healthy. I'm talking about a raw vegetable or fruit, literally eating that by itself. <laughs> And so when I came to Germany, there was this little kid that I used to watch like randomly on the weekends. His mom would want to go out and she'd be like, could you come watch my son? I'd be like, fine, no big deal. So one day she called me, hey Haley, come over. And then she's like, you know what? I have everything in the fridge. You know, I have frozen pizza. I made like spaghetti the other day. I made all of this stuff. Um, just ask him what he wants to eat and then, you know, make something. I love parents like this because I'm like, so you don't mind if I give your kid a frozen pizza, we eat ice cream, cookies and chips and you know, watch a movie and that's that's okay with you. So I go to the little kid all excited. I'm like, hey, your mom told me that we have frozen pizza. And he's like looking at me and he's like, yeah, um, I think I want like a butter brot, a butter bread with radishes. And I looked and I was like, excuse me? Your mom said you have frozen pizza and cookies. He's like, mm, no maybe some cucumbers too. And I'm like, sir, we have everything available here. I can literally call McDonald's and have them deliver, call Burger King and they can deliver a Whopper and fried onion rings to our doorstep right now. This little boy would not budge you guys. So it, what did I do? I went to the kitchen and I cut up some radishes and I put it on some butter and so the next point is going to be outside activities and I don't really know how to go over this properly but in Germany when you do an activity for let's say daycare or school a lot of times it is outsourced to a different location and I don't know the reason why I'm assuming it's because of how small Germany is so their schools aren't as massive and as huge as like stuff in the United States, so they don't have the ability to offer everything in-house. I used to work at a kindergarten, a daycare that was only three rooms. That was it. And there were like a lot of kids and everything that we did, we usually had to go outside somewhere else to do. We didn't have a pool. We didn't have a playground. We didn't have anything at the daycare except for like books and toys and a little mini kitchen to make stuff in. That was it. And I also worked at daycares in Germany that offered everything <laughs> available to mankind. You know, three story, four story buildings. They have a whole bunch of kids. They have their own playground. But still, even then you had to go somewhere else to do other things, or they would tell someone else to come. They would outsource it in the sense that they would hire someone to come and do, let's say yoga, instruments. I don't know what else there is that people outsourced or um, got people to come in to do. And it's not random to see groups of children just walking in the woods, walking on the side of the street, taking public transportation, um, just out and about in the real world, which is something that 
is not common in the United States at all, unless you're going on a field trip, but it's like not where you would say, every day we're going to go outside of our daycare or every day we're taking a trip one mile away or walking one mile down the street to go do something that's just something that does not happen in the united states the last and final point you guys is going to be a big point and this is going to be something that ooh, 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 i do this to myself you guys when i talk about these topics but in germany the kids learn about their history, an in-depth history, a gruesome history, a dark history, something that I've never experienced in the United States. And so I remember when I first got here to Munich, I took a trip by myself to Dachau. I don't know why, you guys. I just wanted to go to a concentration camp because I was like, I'm in Germany. This is like what I've been ta taught in school. I'm literally a train ride away, less than an hour, hour away. Let me just go one day. And so I went by myself to Dachau. And to my surprise, I saw multiple groups, like um, school groups of kids aged, I would say maybe 14 to 16, 17, give or take. I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, are we just gonna allow kids to walk through concentration camps like this? Like, is this normal? I don't know, this is not normal in the United States. We don't walk through plantation homes in Florida especially where I lived, we had plantation homes, we had plantations, we had sugarcane fields that were ran operated by slaves. We never ever took a trip there. Never once in my life did I even know until like I think high school or college did I find out that we had all of these places so close to where I went to school. And I think this is an amazing thing that Germany does. I think that this should happen in the United States as well. I know in some places they do put more emphasis on our history and the dark parts of our history, but in modern day, the United States right now, we're trying to get rid or um, how do you say sugarcoat the things and make it seem like everything was rainbows and sunshine and everyone got along and there were no slaves. They were people that made a minimum wage and we try to like cover things up instead of actually saying, yeah, we effed up, we did this, we did that, um, it wasn't good, we killed a bunch of people, we harmed a bunch of people, we created a lot of problems, you know, by doing this, and here it is, but we don't do that. And so when I think back of my upbringing and my education, and I know that there are gonna be a lot of Americans that say, well, that's just you, and that's not representative of the United States, and that's not my upbringing. Perfectly fine, make your own video talking about your upbringing, but for me, I knew more or I was like told more about Nazi Germany than the history of Florida and like plantations and slavery and just everything that happened in my own state, in my own backyard, like literally a hop skip and a rock throw away. <laughs> I learned more about something that was 5,000 plus miles away than learning something that was five miles away. Like I said, they did teach me about slavery, but if they would have made me go up, take my happy ass to a plantation home, or show me certain fields, or show me all types of other things, a museum for all I know, if they would have done this for me at a young age, it would have made such a big impact on me and it would make me care about these issues more, or it would have made me care more about these issues growing up. But yeah, you guys, that was it. That's the end of the video. That's how I think German kids are different or German parenting is different than American parenting and American kids. I hope you guys got a few laughs out of this video. I know some topics are more serious than others, but like I said, we're trying to, you know, sprinkle in a little bit of lightheartedness and humor. So with all that being said, love you guys. Have a wonderful day and bye.